everything you want to know about baby's progress, from infant development to baby milestones by month, to how much sleep baby and you should be getting. Newborn baby, congratulations on your new baby. Now it's time to figure out parenthood, the feeding, the bathing, the diaper changing, and oh, the sleeping. Relax, you'll get the hang of everything. Just don't freak out if adjusting to this new life doesn't come naturally, it can take a little longer for some than others. These first few weeks with your newborn baby are about resting, recovering, and getting to know baby. As you and your partner figure out how to navigate life with this amazing new addition to your family. Newborn Development Your newborn's arms and legs are still curled in the fetal position that's temporary. Their ways of communicating, cries, grunts, sneezes, and hiccups. Weight for a baby at birth is 7.1 pounds for girls and 7.4 pounds for boys. Average length is 19.3 inches for girls and 19.6 inches for boys. One week old baby development. It's normal for a baby to lose up to 10% of their birth weight in the first week of life. It's just because they've lost the extra fluids they had at birth. So don't get nervous by the dip in the scales. One week old baby milestones. You and baby are getting settled in at home and developing a new routine. Baby should have their first outing if you both feel ready. A walk around the block in the fresh air is a much better idea than going somewhere crowded and germy. One week old baby food. Breastfeeding. A one week old baby is feeding on formula or breast milk around the clock at least every two to three hours, but sometimes it can seem like more than that. Some breastfed babies cluster feed. Formula feeding. If you're formula feeding, follow baby's cues, but about two to three ounces of formula about once every three to four hours should be about right. What should I give a one week old baby for constipation? Doctors advise seeking a doctor's care if a baby under a month old is constipated not to treat it yourself. One week old baby sleep. One week old baby sleeps most of the day, waking every two or three hours to chow down then, they're likely back to snoozing again. It's hard to say how much sleep for a four-day-old, or how much a five-day-old or a one-week-old baby should sleep. It's pretty typical to be about 16 to 20 hours per day, and they usually don't sleep more than two to four hours at a time. Waking happens around the clock because baby still hasn't learned to differentiate between day and night. Two-week-old baby. Two-week-old baby development. Second week, baby should have about regained their birth weight. Babies tend to have a growth spurt around the end of the first week or beginning of the second week. You'll know when it happens because baby will want to feed what feels like all the time. Week old baby milestones. Sometime within two to three weeks post birth, baby's umbilical cord will fall off, which means baby will be ready for their first real bath. Two week old baby food. How often should a two week old eat and how much should they be eating? You're on a constant loop, it seems, feeding baby when they cry. Luckily, babies tend to instinctively know when they need to eat. If you're formula feeding, baby should continue to eat about two to three ounces every three to four hours. Two week old baby sleep. They tend to sleep around 16 hours a day, which seems like a lot, but since they're still waking around the clock, you're still probably totally exhausted. Three week old baby. 3-week-old baby development. Baby might be awake more often and alert than they were the first couple weeks. This sound like fun, but it's also a shock that your former little sleepyhead suddenly cries so much. How to calm them, hunger, dirty or wet diaper, discomfort, gas, etc. The more baby sees you coming to their aid when they're crying, the more you two will bond. There's no such thing as spoiling a newborn. Unfortunately, colic symptoms may appear around this time. Colic is when baby cries often, seemingly for no reason at all. Three-week-old baby milestones. Baby's sight at three weeks is still a little blurry. As baby tries to focus, you may notice their eyes looking crossed. That's totally normal for this age as long as both eyes are moving one doesn't seem stuck still and there aren't any windshield wiper like eye motions. Baby's eyes should look much straighter by the time they're six months old. If not, talk to the doctor. Three week old baby food. 
Three-week-old nursing schedule can't be set to a clock though if you love routine, you wish you could. Feed on demand. That means responding to baby's signals when they're ready to cuddle up and nurse. Three-week-old baby sleep. Your three-week-old still sleeps in spurts, but you may notice the spurts getting a little bit shorter. As baby begins to be awake for more hours in a day, continue to make daytime interactions more exciting and interesting than nighttime ones. Four-week-old baby. Four-week-old baby development. The average weight of a four-week-old baby Aka, one month old, is 9.2 pounds for girls and 9.9 pounds for boys. Baby's vision at four weeks old is still developing, so they can still just focus on things within a foot of her. Luckily, that means they get to gaze at you while you're holding them. And baby is paying attention too. Feel free to make some silly faces to entertain them. Four-week-old baby milestones. Your newborn has been working on turning their head from side to side and may even start to lift their head for a second during tummy time. Baby keeps their hands in fists and brings them toward their face. Baby may even start to turn their head toward voices and noises they recognize. Your baby will have put on a lot of weight and may be looking round and chubby. As their muscles develop, their arms and legs start to move more freely stretching out to make them seem taller and leaner. Babies often have a growth spurt at about six weeks. This might make them more fussy because they want to eat more than usual. It might feel like you're feeding all the time, especially at certain times of the day. What can your baby do? Two-month-old babies will start to learn how to coordinate their movements. Instead of the jerky arm and leg movements that made when they were born, they can move more smoothly and in more of a circular motion. Their neck will be getting stronger all the time. During tummy time, they might be lifting their head and moving it from side to side. Some babies can even lift their chest off the ground by now. They will also be making a lot more sounds and gurgling, including sounds like A or O, and they will seem to listen to you and talk back to you. There will still be a soft spot on top of their head. It might seem as if your baby's head has grown faster than their body. It's normal the body will soon catch up. You will still be getting disturbed sleep at night, but from three months many babies start to sleep through, which means sleeping for five or six hours at a stretch at night. But don't worry if your baby isn't doing this, they are all different. What can your baby do? Your baby will be starting to experience emotions and communication. They will respond to different expressions, know your voice, and will turn to look for you when they hear you. They may start laughing out loud and look around them in wonder, especially at their fingers and toes. They will be gurgling a lot and trying to respond to you when you talk to them. Their sense of touch is also becoming more sensitive and they will be able to pay attention to things for longer. Your baby will start to reach out for objects as the muscles develop in their arms and hands. They will try to put things in their mouth, although they can't quite coordinate their hands and eyes yet. Take a long look at objects and shake or rattle them. Physically, your baby will have better control of their head movements and will start to hold their head up when they're sitting up. Many of the new skills they're learning will come in handy for eating solid food. In fact, sometime over the next few months, your baby may get that first taste of food beyond breast milk or formula. Although breast milk or formula will continue to be the main source of nourishment, your baby can start to explore different tastes and textures. How much will my baby grow? Many babies have doubled their birth weight. This month, babies gain about 1 to 1 pounds 560 grams and about 0.8 inches to centimeters in length. The doctor tracks these numbers on standard growth charts. Ask your doctor to show you your baby's growth record. By now, you should begin to see a personal growth curve emerging. Expect your child to continue growing along this curve. Should I be concerned? Parents often worry about growth and may compare a baby with siblings and peers. It's important to remember that kids come in a wide range of shapes and sizes. In watch factors baby growth depends. Genes passed on by the parents. Kids tend to resemble their parents in height. The amount and quality of food a child eats. Overall health. The functioning of the hormones that control growth. What about the chubby baby? 
Parents may worry that their baby is getting too fat. A few babies and toddlers are overweight. For these children, advice from the baby's doctor can be useful. As long as your baby continues to grow steadily, eating habits shouldn't be a cause for concern. Your baby will be ready to start eating per ed foods when she can sit well without need for support and has lost the tongue thrust reflex pushing solids out of the mouth with the tongue. How much will my baby grow? Your baby's birth weight may have doubled. Babies continue to gain about 1 pound 560 grams this month and about 0.8 inches to centimeters in length. Since your child's birth, the doctor has been recording growth in weight, length, and head size circumference during your regular well baby VC. Should I be concerned? Parents often worry about growth and may compare a baby with siblings and peers. It's important to remember that kids come in a wide range of shapes and sizes. Genes passed on by the parents' kids tend to resemble their parents in height, the amount and quality of food a child eats, overall health, the functioning of the hormones that control growth, Six months is an exciting time. Your baby is growing and developing very quickly now. The left side of their brain has started communicating with the right side, meaning they can coordinate their body better. Six months is the recommended age to introduce solid food. This is important to give them the nutrients they need, including iron, but also to strengthen their jaw to help with chewing food and talking. You can try offering small amounts of smooth, cured, or mashed food once a day. What can your baby do? Your baby's hand control will have developed enough so they can grab an object and move it towards them. They might even be able to pass an object from hand to hand and will learn how to let go of something and to understand that it fell. Most babies can roll over by six months, which means you need to be very careful to keep hold of them on the change table or bed. They are starting to push themselves up into a crawling position and may be able to rock back and forth on their hands and knees. Where can I go for help? You are worried or would like to discuss any issues with your baby's development. Speak to your doctor. Your baby might surprise you with how quickly he or she is picking up new skills. Infant development milestones for a 7 to 9 month old include sitting, standing, and laughing. What to expect? Your baby will continue to grow and develop at his or her own pace. From ages 7 to 9 months, your baby is likely to experience improved hand-eye coordination. Pulling objects closer with a raking motion of the hands will give way to more refined movements, such as picking up objects with just the thumb and forefinger. Evolving communication. Your baby will communicate with you through sounds, gestures, and facial expressions. You'll probably hear plenty of laughing and squealing. Some babies might repeat the sounds they hear or give it their best shot. Stranger anxiety. Your baby might resist staying with anyone other than you. If your baby fusses when you leave, have the person staying with your child create a distraction. Then say goodbye with a hug and kiss and a reminder that you'll be back soon. Your baby will likely stop crying as soon as you're out of sight. Teething. You might notice your baby drooling more than usual and chewing on just about anything. Try gently rubbing the gums with one of your fingers or offer a rubber teething ring. When your baby's first teeth appear, use a soft bristled toothbrush to clean them twice a day. Your baby will probably be eating solid food as well as having breast milk or formula. At eight months, many babies will enjoy eating finger foods like small pieces of soft raw fruit such as banana or avocado, boiled or steamed vegetables, soft beans, carrot or pumpkin, toast or rusks. It helps in the upkeep of brain activity and also improve the mucosal lining of the stomach. The sweet taste and soft texture of banana make it a front runner in baby foods. Sweet potato is a good choice of mother. Its gooey texture is relished by infants. It contain beta carotene to improve the vision and boost the immune system. Ideally suited for seven or eight months old infants, it is recommended for its soft and smooth texture. It is an excellent source of calcium and helps baby in digestive system. Pears contains phosphorus and calcium which aids the bone building process. Remember to remove the skin and seeds and serve in pure form. 
Beetroot have high nutritional value as they are rich source of folic acid, which aids brain development. You can also use beetroot in pured form to feed your baby as a first solid food. Babies love the sweet and sour taste of apple. Its high fiber and low fat content make it healthy delight. Your baby will also be getting more emotional and by now will be showing signs of separation anxiety. If they haven't already, they might cry or scream when they're separated from you or cling to you when you try to leave. What can your baby do? Your baby is probably sitting well without support by now and may be crawling or shuffling on their bottom. Don't worry if your baby isn't crawling, though some babies never crawl and go straight to walking. They are moving around so much now, they are at risk of hurting themselves. Bumps and knocks are a normal part of childhood. Of course, you need to make the house safe, but try not to be too overprotective. How can I help my baby develop? Talk to your baby constantly as they get more interested in language. The more you talk to them, the more they will understand what words mean. You can teach them how conversation works by responding to their sounds and making your own voice go up and down as you talk. You can play with your baby are endless now. They will love bells and things that make sounds. You can get down on their level to chase them around the floor, make funny noises, or pretend to be different animals. Encourage physical play, like helping them to move and explore, to help build their mood. 9 months, babies are also becoming experts at quickly changing position. They can push up to a crawl position, sit back down, and pivot to pick up a toy. Your little one may even be able to pull to a stand, and may soon start cruising around the room while holding onto furniture. What can your baby do? Your baby will be starting to understand the meaning of words. If you point at something, they might look at it. They will be babbling, copying sounds, making noises to get your attention, and might stop when you say no. They will probably recognize their name by now. Passing games are a favorite with many 9-month-olds giving you a toy and then taking it back. They will also be fascinated by putting objects in a container and taking them out again, stacking rings, and playing with toys with levers, doors, and moving parts. How can I help my baby develop? Keep talking, singing, and reading to your baby as much as possible to help with their language development. Make funny sounds, explain to them what you are doing, and respond to their noises. Crawling. Around the 10th month your baby will begin to crawl, which is a big step for them. Once they've started crawling, they are requiring more movement and stimulation around them. Cruising. Taking steps unassisted comes next. Your baby starts to cruise around, which means they're walking around holding furniture. Walking. Right after taking their first steps, toddlers begin walking everywhere. Even if you limit them from going out of the playroom, they will find ways to get there. Don't be surprised if you find them in the bathroom with your toothbrush or cooking in the kitchen. Growth of your baby's first year will be slowing down now. They will have more than doubled their birth weight and as they pull themselves upright, they'll start to look more like a toddler than a baby. Babies may lose a little weight around this time. This could be because they're moving more, they have been sick, or they're not eating enough of the solid foods you're giving them. What can your baby do? Crawl well on their hands and knees, but don't worry if your baby is not crawling just yet. Some babies never learn to crawl. Your baby is probably sitting confidently and may be able to walk around while holding onto furniture called cruising. They may try to pick up a toy from a standing position and climb the stairs, so be very aware of their safety now. At 10 months, your baby should also be able to sit and lean C. Your baby will still be very interested in finding out how things work, looking for hidden objects and reaching out and grabbing things or throwing them. They can bounce to music, copy simple sounds, and pick up things easily with their thumb and forefinger. How can I help my baby develop? Your baby loves conversation so talk to them constantly. They won't be able to say proper words yet, but you can teach them language by repeating the correct words back to them. Tell your baby everything you're doing around the house, sing nursery rhymes and use actions with words, like waving bye-bye. Read together as much as you can and encourage their imagination with songs and stories. They aren't happy. When they see people they know well, they don't make eye contact. 
you or a close carer can't comfort them. They haven't started to move at all. They're not sitting. They don't babble or make other sounds. When someone talks to them, solid food for baby. Soft, ripe fruits such as bananas, pears, peaches, and berries that have been cut into small pieces. Cooked vegetables including carrots, peas, green beans, spinach, and other leafy greens. Squash, and potatoes white and sweet that have been mashed or cut into small pieces. Well-cooked meat, poultry, and fish that is minced. Dairy products, egg yolks, starchy foods, breads, and pasta. Senses of taste and smell are developing, too. By now, they will have preferences for different foods and will enjoy smelling flowers outside. What can your baby do? They will start feeding themselves with their fingers at most meals. Some 11-month-olds can grip a cup and drink from it by themselves, although for some babies this will take a few more months. They might be pulling themselves up and using the furniture to move around called cruising. Some babies will be able to stand well by themselves by now and may take their first steps, although they will probably still prefer to crawl. How can I help my baby develop? Keep talking with your baby. The more you talk to them, the better. Let them know you understand their sounds like Dada and Mama. You can encourage their imagination by reading and singing to them. 11-month-old babies are lots of fun to play with. Take them outside, use blocks and interactive toys, and encourage their creativity with painting, but be prepared for lots of mess. You'll be quite busy now as your baby switches their attention from developing their fine motor skills, like picking up and examining objects, to exercising their large muscles. They will be pushing, kicking, throwing, banging pots, and putting things inside containers. What can your baby do? Your baby's vocabulary probably consists of a couple of words, as well as mama and dada. They will be babbling words that sound like conversation. They will also be able to respond to simple instructions, pass me the cup, and point to parts of their body when you name them. Your baby will be getting good at using their hands and fingers. They will hold a spoon and try to feed themselves from it. Encourage your baby to drink from a cup by themselves, and use a cup for drinking instead of a bottle. You should ideally stop using a bottle by 18 months. How can I help my baby develop? It's important to encourage your baby to move and explore. Help them to pull themselves up to standing and to practice walking. Expect a few bumps and knocks, but you will need to be very vigilant about your child's safety now.